All right, today's lesson is changing the values of m and b in the function f of x equals mx plus b. Recall from the previous lesson on slope that y equals mx plus b is called slope intercept form. And remember, m represents the slope, and b is the y intercept. Right, let's look at the function uh, f of x equals 2x plus 1. Well, we know from the formula that the slope is 2, or 2 over 1. And we know that the y-intercept is 1. So we're gonna, our starting point is going to be 1. And I can count over 1 and count up 2. And keep going in this direction and making this line. Or I can go to the left one and go down two. And then I can connect my line. And if you notice, this line is going uphill from left to right. And <clears throat> and notice it has to cross through uh, this point, zero, one. I know it's going uphill. Okay, let's say you want to graph the function f of x equals negative 2x plus 1. Well, in this case, the slope is negative 2. Or you could say negative 2 over 1. And the y-intercept is 1. Well, again, you're going to start at 1. But if it's negative uh, 2 over 1, I can go to the right 1 and then go down 2. Go over to the right 1, down 2, and so on. Or I can go to the left 1 and up 2. And it's going to create this line. And notice that this goes downhill. It's the opposite direction of the other um, the other line, but it still crosses through the point uh, zero one. All right, graph the function f of x equals two x. Well, this doesn't have a y-intercept. Well, it does, but the y-intercept will be 0 in this case. And we know our slope is 2, or 2 over 1. So you start at the origin. It's going to cross to the origin. And you can go over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2, and so on. Or I can go to the left and go down 2. And this will this will be the representation of this line. It goes uphill. And notice that it goes through the origin. When you don't have the y-intercept, it's going to cross through the origin. All right, graph uh, f of x equals negative 2x. Well, the slope is negative 2. Again, the y-intercept is 0. So you're going to start at the origin. But now you're going to go to the right one and then down 2. The right one, down 2. Or you can go to the left one and up 2. And uh, notice that this goes downhill. And it also crosses through the origin, too. The only thing that changes is that it, it just switches the other way from uphill to downhill. But no y-intercept means it's going to go through the origin. All right, let's consider the function f of x equals 1 half x plus 1. Well, we know the slope 
is one half. And we know the y-intercept is going to be 1. So my starting point is at 1. And I'm going to move to the right 2 and go up 1 and make a point. Go over 2, up 1, and so on. Or I can go to the left 2 and down 1. And our graph is going to look like this. And notice that compared to the first graph, this one is on a gradual incline. When it was two, a slope was two, it was steeper. Now it's a mellower uh, incline. It's still going uphill. And our y intercept is still 0, 1. Okay, uh, graph the function f of x equals negative one-half x minus one, where our slope is negative one-half, and our y-intercept is going to be negative one. So now I'm going to start here, below the x-axis, negative one. And I can go to the right, two, but then I have to go down one. Get the right two down one. Or I can go to the left two and up one. And this line is going downhill from left to right. But notice that it's a mellow incline compared to negative two as a slope. And this time, the starting point is 0, negative 1. So it's going to cross the y-axis below the uh, x-axis. All right, graph the functions uh, f of x equals 2x plus 3, and f of x equals 2x plus 5. Well, the first one, I know my slope is 2, or 2 over 1, and my y-intercept is, is 3. So I'm going to start at 3, my initial point, and I can go over to the right 1 and then go up 2. Go over to the right 1 and up 2 or to the left one and down two. And my next one, uh, you have two X plus five. Notice that the slope's the same. I have two over one, but now my Y intercept is gonna be five. So now I count up, that's three or five, I have going to be up there. And uh, same thing, I can go over 1 and I count up 2. I go over 1 and I count up 2. Or I can go to the left 1 and count down 2. To the left 1 and count down 2. You're going to wind up with this line. And if you look, they're very close to each other, but they're, but they're parallel. They're not going to touch. So anytime you have the same uh, slope, but different uh, y-intercepts, they're going to be parallel. Our graph uh, f of x equals 2x plus 3, and f of x equals negative 1 half x plus 1. All right, so uh, the first function, the slope is 2, or 2 over 1, and our y-intercept is going to be 3. So I start at 3, and I go over to the right one, up 2.
or I can go to the left one and down two. All right, and then the second uh, function, my slope is negative one half. And my y-intercept is 1. So I'm going to start here. But now I'm going to go to the uh, right 2 and then down 1. Over 2 and then down 1. Or I can go to the left uh, 2 and then up one. But what you want to notice about this is the intersection. Anytime you have um, the negative reciprocal of the slope, if they have a product of one, it's always going to form a right angle at the intersection. We call this a perpendicular intersection. Alright, this includes our lesson for today.